Good morning and welcome to the Daily Bible Podcast. My name is William Hemsworth. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode. Well, today we're continuing on in Matthew chapter 5. Uh, we're in the Sermon on the Mount. We're going to be looking at Matthew chapter 5, verses 29 and 30. So in yesterday's passages, we see Jesus saying that even if you lust after a woman in your heart, that you are committing adultery. And today Jesus goes a little bit further to talk about the dangers that are involved with sin. So let's read them. Uh, Matthew chapter 5, verses 29 and 30 say, If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than for your whole body to go into hell. Pretty intense words here today from Jesus. Cut off your hand, throw it away. Does Jesus mean that we're to literally pluck our eye out, to literally cut off our hand if they're causing us to sin? Not at all. Jesus is not advocating self-mutilation. Um, although there was an early church figure by the name Origen who did just that, um, but that is not what Jesus is saying here. Jesus is using a figure of speech known as hyperbole. He's doing what's known as hyperbole here. And the reason why is because if lust goes unchecked, it can lead to adultery. It can lead to the physical act. So Jesus is advocating drastic action, not self-mutilation. He's advocating drastic action to remove the sources of temptation from our lives. And like I said before, these are are classic examples of hyperbole. They're not meant to be taken literally. I mean, and, and this is obvious, but... You know, blind people can still lust. Injured people can still lust. So you talk about removing the sources of temptation. Removing the sources of temptation. So let me ask you this. What sin are you struggling with today? Are you taking the appropriate steps to remove the source of the temptation? So if you're a porn addict, do you have software such as Covenant Eyes downloaded on your computer to help prevent you from looking at it? If you're married and uh, you have a strong attraction to someone at work, um, are you taking the flirting too far? Are you going too far with it? There's so many things in our lives, so many temptations out there. Social media is one of them. Social media is one of them as well. Are you not spending time in prayer and Bible reading because you're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you know, whatever the case is? Jesus is calling us to remove temptation from our lives to help focus on him. So he's advocating drastic action, again, not self-mutilation. Well, God bless you guys. Thank you for joining me on this edition of the Daily Bible Podcast. Please uh, share the show. Please rate the show. God bless you guys. I thank you so much for joining me every day. I really enjoy doing this and hope you get something out of it too. God bless you.